Andrew Ference tweeted this today. Um, he this is in response to uh, Mike uh, Camito. Uh, uh, Ten years ago today, after scoring a goal in Game Four against the Canadians, uh, Andrew Ference flipped the bird to, Mon- to Montreal crowd. Who Ference played for Boston at the time. Uh, Ference, who tried to argue it was unintentional, was later fined twenty five hundred dollars for the gesture. Uh, and if you watch the video, it is not unintentional. <laughs> he uh, totally flips off the crowd. Uh, and so Andrew Farron said uh, in response to this, he goes, and I came home to Boston after the game, and he lived in the North End, Little Italy, and taped to the entrance of his building were a bunch of envelopes with money and notes from the neighborhood to pay his fine. <laughs> so if you that, that give you an idea, if you're not familiar with the Boston-Montreal rivalry, um, Boston fans were paying his his fine for him flipping off the Habs fans, <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Which I thought was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, while we're on the Mike Comito train, one of the best hockey history Twitter follows, by the way, um, outside of you know St. Louis Blues uh, SEO Blues history, um, seventy years ago today. Bill Barilko played what would be his last NHL game. The last goal he ever scored won the Leafs the Cup. Ah. They didn't win another until 1962, wow. the year he was discovered. I... I stole this from a hockey card I keep tucked under. My 50 Mission Cap, one of the great Tragically Hip songs. I had heard that. <laughs> yeah. Love that song. Great tweet. So you're not showing on YouTube? It says it's live here. Yeah, I mean, I we might be on Facebook, but I think it created another post. On fa- on YouTube? Yeah. Oh, on Facebook? But, but I don't know. I, I on Facebook, yeah, but I don't know about uh, I don't know about YouTube. Oh well. I yeah. Oh well. Yeah, it, it should be going YouTube because I see the message I posted. So maybe I don't know. I'll check it out later. Oh well, we're yeah. we're about wrapping up here soon yeah. anyway. Uh, Vancouver finally returned to play this week after not playing for almost three weeks due to COVID issues. And they beat Toronto twice. Van COVID. And they beat Toronto (laughs) twice. So, okay. So, Bill, being a Montreal fan, uh, assuming they get in, they're probably going to play Toronto. Uh, I So, I think everyone's expecting Toronto to crash and burn the playoffs. Will it be against Montreal? Would you put money on Montreal to beat Toronto? With Toronto's playoff failures? Uh, yes. Yes, I would. That would be amazing. <laughs> um, I would pay money to watch wild. Toronto play. Lose. Right. The wild card in this is Carey Price's health. Um, he's out um, uh, concussion protocol. Um, Jake Allen uh, played tonight in the uh, uh, the 4-3 hang-on win against Connor McDavid and the Oilers. Um Montreal gave up, had a nice, comfortable uh, three-goal lead with about three minutes left, and at uh, yeah, Edmonton had uh, chances to tie this game. So if, if Carey Price, you know, I, I think for Montreal, um, if Carey Price is healthy, um, they make the playoffs. I could totally see Carey Price because you know he's he's getting up there, getting long in the tooth. Um, I could totally see it, you know, being. Uh, you know, part of his storybook career um, to be um, the Montreal goalie to take the um, the Leafs and and knock them out. That'd be I'd fun. put money on that. That'd be fun. You'd probably you'd probably make some money uh, if they do. I mean, a lot of money because they've got to be heavy underdogs. <laughs> yep. So that'd be a good that'd be a good For bet. Sure. Be a good twenty dollar bet. Um, that's going to wrap up our show, I think, guys. Unless you got something else you want to have. Uh, no, I got nothing. All right. Wow. No more. One more thing, huh? Good. No more. <laughs> one more thing. I was thinking that I'm like, I usually have one more thing here, but nothing. Hmm. So not having one more thing is your one more thing. My one more thing is I have no more one more thing, <laughs> except. God damn it! Start fucking playing some blues hockey that we're used to. 
Support for Let's Go Blues Radio is brought to you by, in part by Manscaped, the best in men's blow away grooming products. Get 20% off from free shipping at manscaped.com with code LGB. There's gold at the end of the rainbow with Manscaped. And by ID Life, the world's only truly personalized vitamin platform based on a health assessment and your DNA. Visit rockin'thatidlife.com for more information. That's rockin'thatidlife.com and get 10% off by texting Dustin at 636 393 8745. And tell him, Let's Go Blues Radio sent you. And by Center Ice Brewery, St. Louis's hockey-themed brewery. Visit centericebrewery.com today to schedule a no-contact curbside, curbside pickup or to make a reservation in their awesome tap room. While you're there and enjoying a number of their fantastic beers, you can admire the bar top and tables made of authentic arena wood. Located at 3126 Olive, in, Olive Street in Midtown St. Louis, it's one of the best places to watch a blues game. That's centericebrewery.com. Please drink responsibly. That'll wrap up episode 32 of season nine of the original St. Louis Blues Hockey Podcast, Let's Go Blues Radio. Thanks for listening, and thanks to those who participated in the YouTube and Facebook live chats during the live show. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. For Jeff Ponder and Bill Day, I'm Kurt Price. Until next time, everyone, be cronky. Let's go Blues. (laughs) Let's go Blues. Let's go Blues. Uh, The Chiefs are at home tonight against Cyanusport at the War Memorial at 8. Good seats are still available. A look at sports. I think that went very well. Thank you for listening to Let's Go Blues Radio. Now take off, hosers. I want you to have a heart attack and die so that we never have to do this shit again. Well, there's 90 minutes of your life you'll never get back. Sorry. (laughs) St. Louis Blues. St. Louis Blues. Have you heard the news about our St. Louis Blues? They've only just begun, they're on their way to number one. Now there's no more blues for our St. Louis Blues. The blues are on.